This video will show you how to search our library's catalog. You can find books, ebooks, CDs, or DVDs. To open the catalog, start at the library's homepage. Click Books and More. Before we start a search, I want to point out a few of the features. Across the top are a number of helpful pull down menus, including My Library, where you can log into your account using your KID number and password. Log in and you can renew books or see what you have on hold. Help Topics is helpful. What's New has our featured list. You can see what is new at our library, but also browse a list of our growing DVD collection. Students can now take movies home for three days. Course Reserves lets you see if your instructor has placed any books or other materials on reserve for your class. And you can connect to us librarians through Ask a Librarian. And much of these links are copied above. Alright, so let's do a search. You can see from this little drop-down menu that I can do different types of searches. The default is Keyword. This is casting a really big net. The computer matches your word to titles, author names, table of contents, everything. Remember, it doesn't know context. Title and author searches are good when you're looking for a particular book or a particular author. And subject searching. That is when you use specialty librarian language to search by those tags that librarians have used to describe each book. I'm going to start with the basic keyword search and type in Titanic and then hit enter or submit. Here's my search results. The computer matched 28 different items. It organized them by how it thought I might like them. Again, computers don't always get this right. You can see on the side these little images show what type of thing it is. A book, a DVD, a music CD, and even an ebook or two. You can also see basic information about the item, the title, the author, when it was published. Just a hint, this is all the information you need to create your Works Cited or References page. You can also see where in the library this item is located. We have four levels, so note the level and the call number. Also, make sure the item you want is listed as available. If you want to read a little more about the item, you can click on a title and it will open up the record. Here's a look at the record for Return to Titanic, a new look at the world's most famous lost ship. All the basic information is there, along with the location information and also some more detailed information. In this case, a summary and a brief table of contents. You can see in red where it found my keyword. Let's look closer at this part of the record, the subject. Here is where you can see those tags that the librarians have given to this particular book. These are also hyperlinked, meaning that you can click on them to get other books with the same subject. I'm going to click on Titanic Steamship. And this takes me to an alphabetized list of all various subject headings. Here's mine, Titanic Steamship and I see that there are five other books with this subject. These books have all been tagged with Titanic Steamship. At their core, they are really about the Titanic. Instead of casting a wide net like with the keywords, I'm aiming a harpoon to hit exactly what I want. There are some new titles that I wouldn't have found otherwise, like this one, Molly Brown, Unraveling the Myth. This is an ebook. Clicking on the title, gives me more information about it. But I'm also given the option to connect to the book. Ebooks can be, be viewed anytime, anywhere. You just need to give your KID number and password.